Among others, I would like to point out some of the technical requirements. One it is that this system it is a multi-voltage system of 25 kilovolts in AC and 3 kilovolts DC. We also have an operational speed of 160 kilometers per hour and the weights for the traction converter it's 1,500 and 770 kilograms for the auxiliary converter. The support given by Ingetam to our customer, I think it has been key in the decision of choosing us for this project. We have adapted our traction converter to this specific project and we also give some technical advice. The traction system has been conceived as a part of a platform, a multi-voltage platform, 25 kibis AC and 3 kibis DC. Uh, the first configuration that uh, we deal with in, in the project uh, was a two-car vehicle configuration. The traction chain is composed by uh, one roof-mounted uh, traction transformer, two roof-mounted traction converter, which includes one active front end, one traction inverter, and one low frequency auxiliary inverter. Additionally, we have also one uh, low frequency uh, auxiliary transformer box and four traction motor. All these components are integrated in the same, in the same car. The acoustic noise generated by the motor, uh, as we have a three-level topology, the voltage the quality generated by the motor is uh, better than comparing to a two-level topology and it uh, reduces significantly the noise coming from the motor. The maintainability of the converter, as we have a modular design inside the converter, we have also uh, easy access to all the interfaces, mechanical and, and electrical interfaces. The traction converter integrated an uh, electronic control board, board designed by Ingetam. And in this control board, we have a, a very helpful tool for the maintenance, uh, which is Ingemaster. We want to validate the correct integration of the converter in the train. Also, we validate the correct integration of the rest of the elements that are out of our scope of supply, the rest of elements of the project. The commissioning phase is divided into main phases. From one side, we have the static uh, commissioning. During this stage of the project, we assure all the validations of the converter and the rest of the equipment. And in the second stage, we have the dynamic phase of the commissioning. During this stage, we run up the train in order to test the acceleration and brake of it. It's very important to try to coordinate all the planning with our end customer in order to assure that we have the train at the stage that we need in order to try to perform all the tests.